Battle Royales are possibly the biggest gaming genre to have ever existed outside of MMOs. However, outside a couple of notable examples such as Population 1, they've not really been that particularly successful in virtual reality. But I have one question for you. Have you ever wanted to play Apex Legends in VR? Well, if your answer is yes, then you are probably going to want to watch the rest of this video. There's a game that's going to be releasing into open alpha tonight at 8pm EST that is available to play on PC VR and standalone, and that game is called Gravity Royale. This game looks to have a strong emphasis on asymmetrical gameplay, utilizing jetpacks on the players to be able to navigate around the map and gain unique and strong angles on other unsuspecting players. The time to kill in this game is quite large, and that is mostly gained through upgrading your armor through resources that you are able to gather in-game. One of the aspects of the trailer that almost immediately caught my eye was the level of interactivity that they are showcasing. It looks like you can perform manual reloads and you can just play around with the weapons something that has become less and less common in VR shooters as of late. Games like Breaches, Firewall Ultra and Crossfire Sierra Squad like to limit the amount of interactivity which is a bit of a sore point for many gamers so seeing this level of interactivity is really promising. Another point that I want to make is that in a screenshot that they sent us in a media kit it looks like you will be able to mess around with various attachments as well so maybe when you pick up a weapon it's not particularly good but as the round progresses you can upgrade it and make it more to your style style and improve your chances of surviving to the very end. Talking about the map, it looks really interesting, it looks big and sprawling and takes quite a healthy dose of inspiration from many of the Apex Legends maps. I'm hoping that we get more maps in the long run, but if this is what we get at the start, I will be very happy. Now I don't know what this game is going to cost, nor do I know when it is going to actually fully release, however I do genuinely believe that this is the style of game that would heavily benefit from going down a free to play path minimizing the amount of people who are unable to play the game because they physically cannot afford to play it. Monetizing through founder packs or through cosmetics is just a smart idea as getting anybody who owns a MetaQuest 2 headset or anyone who owns a PC VR system will be able to just drop into the game and play it which would increase player numbers, player interest and then in turn increase potential revenues. I know that a lot of people will be upset about the possibility of squeakers being there but just remember guys that was you once. It was me, and it was probably you as well. Anyway, that's going to be it for today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Ciao.